<laughs> awesome. To be or not to be? That is the question. Man, do you think Shakespeare is rolling in his grave knowing that one of his classic lines is being spouted by a cat bee hybrid toy in a video game while it rolls around in a beehive of honey? I don't think Shakespeare expected that when he wrote that line. I don't think he was like, you know what? This, this is where my, my poetry is going to be used. My iambic pentam is gonna show up in the mouth of a honey-soaked cat bee. Did they have, like, plumbing back then? <laughs> <laughs> I like that Matt, Matt's like, Matt's like, a, a drawing of a cat bee hybrid is the least of Shakespeare's concerns. Right, I'm right like, now his mind is blown by the toilet. I don't think he could even imagine what a screen is. <clears throat> you know. Yeah. Maybe he could. Maybe he could imagine. Maybe. We are the dreamers. We'd have to ask him. We, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. hit up Shakes. <laughs> Billy Shakes. Shakes. Yo, Billy! Billy Shakes! Uh, Bill Shakes, boy! <laughs> Fun fact, did you know that Shakespeare actually created the word yeeting? Yeah? No. Oh. I just was wondering if you would believe me. I did. Cause there, right? Because it's one of those <laughs> yeah. things where like everyone's always like, Oh, Shakespeare created that word! Did you know Shakespeare invented the word turnt? No, did he? Yeah, yeah and uh -huh. YOLO. Yeah, y y <laughs> and YOLO. Wow, man, really, everything old does really recycle he was back. Really revolutionary. It? Really revolutionary. Yeah. YOLO, yeet, turnt. I wouldn't be surprised if he actually turned, right? Like yeah. that actually feels like a Shakespearean, like in a play. Mm -hmm. And then he turned around. I turned into your direction, <laughs> and thou bidst thou thumb it my. <laughs> Did it's my study, visage. Did you study Shakespeare? Yeah. Surely, right? Everyone does. Can I just say? Yeah. Why? Wow! Wow! Shots fired. I just, I've had this conversation multiple times mm. where it's like, the book, why did we read every Shakespeare play ever? Surely there's other books to read, no? It, it is weird that Shakespeare is such a focal of general education. Right. I, you know, I don't disagree. I think like, one or two of his plays is fine, but there's so many other talented and, playwrights, yeah. especially of that era and from different regions of the world. Like, I love the works of Moliere. Mm -hmm. I, you know, when I was in professional theater, I did Moliere, I studied a bunch, like, I just thought he was a really interesting playwright, but he gets no love. It's all Shakespeare. Right. I, I, I'm like, Romeo and Juliet, sure, but there's right? no reason why I read Macbeth, Hamlet, Romeo and Juliet, Othel like, why did I? I think it's because they're so... It, 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 I think at this point, it's a self-perpetuating cycle. Mm. It's this idea of he is, references to him and his work is so prevalent in pop culture mm. that you, in order to understand or like have a robust knowledge of these kind of core pieces of literature, you, you have to read his stuff. And then, the, but if that's all you're learning, it just perpetuates this cycle, mm. right? And so it's like, oh, well, West Side Story is Romeo and Juliet, so you have to read Romeo and Juliet to understand but also like, well, if you had showed me like the imaginary invalid or like some, you know, the, the wolves by Volpone or something like that, you know, like whatever, now that could then be my inspiration point as opposed to always Shakespeare all the time. Right. But I think it's because so much of media and reference points is Shakespeare. That's why it perpetuates. I, uh, the other thing that I think is delightful is the fact that like we're teaching the works of this guy and yet then like, as you finish up your course on him or whatever, it's like, oh yeah, and by the way, we're not sure if he actually existed. It might have been like a collective group of playwrights all using the same pseudonym. So, and then, and then they just drop that and then they move on. It's like, what? Excuse me? I actually didn't know that. Yeah, I, it's it's a theory that exists out there, like with anything, right? Like, like Elvis isn't theory. dead and this and that, but like, yeah. you know, there and there's been movies done about like, was this, was William Shakespeare actually this like collective pen name for a group of talented writers? Because how could they have created such a huge body? One person could have created such a huge body of work and, you know, this and that, this, that, and the other. Um, but yeah, that theory exists out there. Oh. It's cool. But yeah, in, in my school, it was literally like, here's all your Shakespeare. And then, by the way, maybe not existed. Okay, and now we're going to talk about Pilgrim's Promise. Why? Yeah. Why? You and I were meant to be. Oh, because it's a B. Are you just realizing that now, Matt? All right. All right. Well, you know. Shakespeare. Don't make me sting you. I'll do it. You need to get 
Get out of here. Ooh. That sounded... <laughs> Just kidding! Go have fun! That sounded like lore right there. 